Good morning. Just waiting for YouTube. Boy, it's slow this morning. <laughs> there we go. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm just going to work on different parts of the book. I've been working on this page that I'd started probably two weeks ago. And I'd made this snippet heart separately on another live. And I did show it in the book, but I've just been adding pearls to it today. I don't think I'm going to do much more. So we may start a new page today. Um, so I don't know. I may put a little something here, but not much. Maybe a few pearls up here at the top. But uh, I think that's it. And of course, last week we did the embroidery. And here are the pages we've done so far. The cover. And some embroidery on there. Still yet to embroider on here, which we will get to this page with some of the images that are available in my store. The embroidery we did last week of the lavender, which I really enjoyed doing. That was so much fun. And then this image we stuffed and we did uh, quite a bit of snippets on here, buttons. And then this page I did on Amy Loves Live. I made the yo-yo flowers. And then this is the page I did off camera. So I'm just going to sew a few more beads and then we'll probably start this page today. So that's where we're going. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Nice to meet you, Shelly. Shelly's Brookview. Where are you from, Shelly? I'm just going to thread my needle here. Okay, got it threaded. Not bad on the first try. Minnesota, nice. I'm in Canada, about four hours north of Toronto, if you know where Toronto is. In Ontario, province of Ontario. Whenever I hear somebody's from Minnesota, I'm going to age myself, but I always think of Mary Tyler Moore. She, her show was based in Minnesota. So these pearls I'm using are from an old necklace I got at the thrift store that I took apart ages ago. I think I may have to remove my glasses to sew these in. Yes. Hi, Paula. How are you? Yeah, I love Mary Tyler Moore, too. Shame she's no longer with us. Okay, that pearl's got a bit of glue on it. I must have removed it from something. So we will use some smaller pearls. Now, don't do what I did if you end up making one of these books, because this morning... I sewed this page. I had my book flip like that, and I thought I only had this page. So all the pages were over here, so I didn't sew the pages together. But of course, I didn't. And I sewed this page to this page. So I had to cut it all and then sew it again. So when you're sewing, just put all the pages to one side. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've done that a few times. So we're just going to put some pearls. And I love the color of these. They're kind of a rose gold. And sort of a matte gold. They go really well with the colors on this page. And I find that just going through the pearl twice is enough to hold it. If I can find the hole again. There we go. Oh, is there a statue of her in downtown Minneapolis? Oh, that's cool. I could see that. Just like there's one in Salem of uh, Elizabeth Montgomery. It's amazing um, what effect television shows have on culture. Okay, so we're just moving over a little bit. We're going to put one over here. And then I'll probably put a couple on this flower applique as well. Hey, Deanna, how are you, sweetheart? Me too. I love them. I love Bewitched was always my favorite show, but who didn't love Mary Tyler Moore? Because I sure did. They don't have funny shows like that on anymore, I don't think. They're not as good as they used to be. How are you doing, Deanna? Maybe we'll put a big one here, like right there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there in the center of the flower would be cool. No, Mary wasn't in Bewitched. That was Elizabeth Montgomery. Yeah, I'm better. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing good, sweetie. You may hear my hubby. He's uh, working on packaging orders. I have to go out this afternoon. And of course the cats. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put three up here. And now we'll tie a knot and then we'll start working on another page. But I just felt like this page needed some dimension. And pearls are a great way to do that. Pearls and buttons. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to work on this page. So we need all the pages to go this way now. And if you haven't been following along, I made this book 
um, and it's going to have counting the cover one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was page seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16 is the back, which we've kind of already started, but I have not finished yet. So that's how many pages is going to be in this book. And it's starting to get a little chunky. Um, but I'm pleased with it. I still have a lot I want to do. I want to do more embroidery on the front and on here, of course. So probably next week we'll do some more embroidery. I just don't feel like it today. So I'm just going to start working on the background on this page. So we're going to start like that. So hopefully you can see that. I did say Mary Tyler Moore. That's right. <laughs> okay. Let me have a drink of water here. So is anybody else crafting? Are you guys working on anything? Oh, thanks, Deanna. I think because I'm just kind of letting go and going with the flow. I don't, I have no plan for this book. Like at all. I kind of feel like this page, I want to look like lace samples. If that makes any sense. Like just little pieces of lace. That makes any kind of sense. Let's see what we've got here. I do have lots of lace bits. That might be nice for a background piece. And I could embroider on top of this right here, which would be cool. I also have this piece that I sewed on my sewing machine and then I added pearls to. Um, but I was wondering if maybe I should put that like along the spine. I don't know. It might be too big. I don't know. I'll have to see how big the book gets. But anyway, I've got that aside. I don't want to cover this piece up completely. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it over here. Because I don't want to cover it. What else do I have here handy? I have lots of goodies here. Let's see. I could add one of these roses here. That might be nice. Let's cut one of these. This is all I have left of this trim, and I have no idea where to get it. So I've been hoarding these last five, four pieces of rose. So I might use a piece in here. here. That would be nice. I like that. Let 
maybe two of those down there. What else? What else? I just have another dangle piece. Do I want to use that? No, maybe I'll save that for this side. Just looking through my snippets here. I also have this piece, which would look nice on a page as well, but I think it's too big for that because I like what I have there. I have a little piece of the braided trim, which is now sold out in the store, but I have more coming and it should be here by Friday. If you're looking for this braided trim, because this sells out. It's one of my most popular trims in the store. Hmm. Might have a little piece. See, again, I think that's too big, but it would look good in the book. We'll find something. Too many good snippets. Yeah, that might be too big as well. My goodness. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that might work. That might do it. And then put this one here. That would be a nice background. What do you guys think? And then this page, I want to show most of this, I think, but I do want to have snippets on it. So I think I might use this on this page. So we'll just keep that aside for a minute and then we'll start sewing these pieces down. Yeah. And then we can embroider on top of it. That will be good. Okay, so let's take this piece off, this piece off, these two pieces, and this piece off. So we're going to start sewing this one. Um, and as for sewing on the other side, I'm not too worried about it, about my stitches showing, because, uh, you know, it's fiber art. So if your stitches show, it's okay. So basically, we're just going in and out, in and out along the top here. And there has been absolutely no glue in this book, so I'm proud of myself. No glue at all. So I'm hoping I can keep that till the end of the book and not use any glue. It's a challenge, but... Uh, it's nice to challenge yourself once in a while. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Am I on the right page? See now, look what I did. This is the page. I should be sewing on this side, and I'm sewing over here. 
Does it matter that much? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But that's what happens. So this will just be another page in the book. <laughs> oh, dear. Because I was like, why am I not hitting any of those pieces sewn on the other side? It's because there's nothing on the other side. Oh, well. We're going with the flow. So now I want this rose piece here. So I think we'll just come up right there on the rose in that leaf. And we're just going to tack that down with some stitches. And it'll be nice to see all the pretty, just pretty laces on some of the pages. I may still add some images. We'll have to see. Come on, thread, don't be caught. Where are you from, Paula? And do any of you guys in the chat sew or do embroidery work or fiber art or anything? want to tack down these flowers up here. I don't think I'm going to sew these down because, well, first of all, I have to get some lace under it so I can't go down too far, but I kind of like them dangling, I think. Okay, we better tie a knot before we run out of thread. Oh, you're in the UK. Nice. I've been to the UK. It's beautiful there. I want to go back, but we'll have to wait until COVID has ended. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I'm glad you made it in time today. We haven't been on that long. I'm just threading a needle. We only make knots. Well, that's okay. Knots are good. You can make French knots or just regular knots. That will look pretty on a page. Just use colored thread. Okay, so our next piece was down here was this one. 
think I want to cover up this line here of the top of this lace. So I'm going to just tuck it under that one. So I think we'll start here and come down the side of this lace. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Yeah, it's nice because, I mean, the pages have been fairly neutral anyway, but there has been some color, but uh, they're just soft colors. I mean, I love white and beige and cream and ivory and just soft pink. I think those are probably my favorite colors anyway. Okay, so now we want to try and sew in between these holes on the lace here. Okay, let's turn it back this way. So now we're going to come across this way and put this lace here. And I'm going to hold that up out of the way. So we're going to come back up this way and sew across the top. No, don't make a knot. No, no, no thread. There we go, I think. Come on, no knot. There we go. Okay. So we want to catch the lace there to tack those two down. So we're just going to catch the bottom of that one. And just go along the edge. Anybody watching anything interesting on Netflix or anything? I started watching the Tudors. I don't know why I haven't watched it before. I know it's been out forever. Like I think 2007 or 10 or something. It's been out for a long time. Um, but I just never watched it for some reason, which is weird because it seems like a show I would love. But uh, anyway, I'm on the second season. I'm really enjoying it. But apparently there's only four seasons, which kind of stinks. Okay, so now we're over here. So now 
I want to get our little piece of lace here, make sure I have it the right way up, which is hard to tell. I think that might be the right way, not the way I had it. So now we're going to sew this piece right there. I like to try and sew so I don't have to keep threading my needle. So I kind of plan it so it'll just kind of keep going along the edges of things and I can just sew. So now I'll come down this way and put this piece down here. That's my plan. Sorry, I just had to have a drink of water. So now we're gonna come down this way. So I hope you guys will all go and sub to each other as well. Because there's some very talented people in the chat. Hopefully you can still see, am I still in shot? So now we're down at the bottom. I guess we can put that down now. See, that'll go right down there. I don't know, I may sew it down. It might be nice if it's sewn down. Yeah, I may do that. It might be nice. Great snippet project for sure. have to go and get my other spool of white thread. This one's nearly empty. We'll see how we make out here. Good thing about white on white is you cannot see the stitches. But if you do want to see your stitches, then you could use a different colored thread, which I love the way that looks too, is showing the stitches. Oh, get off of there. My 
might need some bits over here. I have these hearts that Amy Love sent me. That might be cute to put some of these on here. Once that's down, that might be cute to put three on here. Oh, that would be cute. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. So now that I'm here, will be a little stiff to go through but not too bad okay thread there we go yeah a bit stiff i think they must have some kind of sizing on them or something i mean they are burlap or something i think or a heavy canvas on the back and then lace, but it's kind of stiff. Oh my goodness, come out of there. How is that caught? Okay, how is that caught? All right, this might take a minute to untangle. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I'm trying to read the chat here. Oh, I'm glad. Yes, definitely get them out. Get them out and do it. I was inspired by Roseanne, who um, is Roxy Fiber Art. She was Roxy Car 11. Now she's Roxy Fiber Art. And uh, she's doing a live on her channel of her version of the Fiber Art book. And I was so inspired by her that I thought, I want to do that. So that's where I got my inspiration from. So definitely do it. It's fun. And I'm just kind of doing, you know, a page a week kind of thing. So there's like no rush. Sometimes I do a bit off camera if I'm in the mood, but you know, it's been a busy week, so I didn't get anything done this week. Seriously, stop catching on there. Like I said, it's a good snippet project. And then uh, I, I definitely feel like this page will want some embroidery on it afterwards. I mean, it might be a good idea just to do all the backgrounds first and then go through and do the embroidery. We'll see.
Okay, so now we need to do a knot on the other side. It's slightly crooked, but hey ho, that's okay. So cute. And then we'll definitely put another heart there. And maybe another one there. Three might be too much, I don't know. I kind of like it though. The vintage pays the bills. <laughs> Well, you know, vintage um, laces and trims, they are my favorite, too. Oh, I'm sorry you find that difficult to make art, but sometimes you just need to sit down with some of your favorite things and just have a play with it you know and not stress about it okay let's sew this herd on Oh, get in there. Okay. Oh, get in there. It's a little stiff. Okay. Oh, you got your package? Oh, good. I'm glad you got it, and I'm glad you love it. That's good. That seems like it took a long time to get there. It's so weird, the mail. Sometimes things are like super fast. Oh my goodness, thread. And then other times the mail is so slow, it drives me crazy. I also find that packages going to the West Coast, like to Washington State and stuff, take like a month, which makes no sense to me. Okay. 
Okay. There's that. I think what I might do now is sew this piece here. Because I'm kind of over that way. Or maybe we'll just sew that piece like that. Sew it right there. So we'll come up here through this lace. And that will tack down this flower piece here. That's going through a few layers. Why will the mail be getting slower October 1st, Deanna? What's happening October 1st? And how could it possibly be any slower? <laughs> but I guess it could. I thought things were starting to get a little better. can't keep up with the Christmas deliveries and they will start making it an issue in October. That way they can charge more. Ugh. Dear me. None of that sounds good. That's very frustrating. It's frustrating for everybody, but as a seller, an Etsy seller, it's very frustrating for me. But I mean, you know, as a someone who shops online as well, it's very frustrating. That really stinks. <clears throat> Well, what can you do, I suppose? Not much. We're all slaves to the mail. Okay, we're just gonna kind of come up here and keep sewing this down. I think these little flowers on here, here and here and here and here and here, they're just begging for something to be in the centers of them. And then we're going to come over this way and sew this piece down. I think it's better sewn down. I thought at first maybe not, but I think it'll look nicer sewn down. If I have enough on my thread here, which I don't think I do, I'll have to probably re-thread again. Which way is the right way up? That way. Although I may have to make a knot in a second. Again, should go through the threads fast. Okay, knot. It's 
coming along. It's coming along. It's very pretty. Another background page done today. The U.S. Postal Service is moving forward with its plans to slow some first-class mail deliveries in an effort to achieve financial sustainability for the struggling agency. Under a 10-year plan called Delivering for America, the USPS will add one to two days to the service standards for certain first-class mail and periodicals. The USPS argues that mod modifying select service standards will allow for additional transport time for long distance package deliveries and increase network efficiencies. You know, that just sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook to me. <laughs> yeah, shake my head. I agree with you, Cindy. Like, what does that even all mean? You know? Ten year plan. A ten year plan. Like what? I don't know. It's weird. We don't have mail delivery on Saturdays here in Canada. They stopped that back in the 60s. So we only have like six days of mail movement. Pardon me. Five days of mail movement. Monday through Friday. The mail... You can pick up your mail on Saturdays, um, but there's no delivery. Um, like if you have mail sitting at your post office or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, there's no delivery. I think it's still like at some of the, the hubs where they sort the mail. I think they still work on Saturdays, but uh, nothing gets delivered on Saturdays. Yeah, the prices are nuts here too. And, you know, a few years ago here, they started charging like gas for the delivery trucks, like a fuel surcharge here. So we are now paying for the fuel that goes in the delivery trucks. Can you believe that? Like, ugh, it's nuts. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that little piece for now and I'm gonna sew on the third heart so you can see what that looks like because we've already been on almost an hour now. I can't even believe that. My goodness. That's crazy. And also, I'm going to be coming out with a new kit in the next day or so. I'm going to get it together this afternoon. Um, it's for um, fiber art fabric postcards. Um, and it's going to have some really beautiful pieces in it. And some nice fabric for you to make your fabric postcards. I'm excited about it. And it'll also come with images. So watch for that. I do have some images here that I'll probably include. Um, they're printed on muslin. There's that one. And then this one. So you can put an image on the front of your postcard and then decorate it and then have the back of the postcard be like, you know, an actual postcard. This one's addressed to a lady in uh, France. I don't know what year. But the handwriting is pretty cool. And then there's this one as well. This one's from 1904, I think. But they're very pretty. So there'll be images and then there'll be the backs of the postcards as well. I don't know if it'll be this image. I like that image though. 
because um, anything Paris I'm down with, but. Yeah, I wondered that too, if Amazon would do that. Who knows, they may. Amazon's into everything. Get in there. Oh my goodness, I hate it when the thread does that. Come on thread, get it together, there we go. We're almost at the bottom there, too. There we go. Last stitch. Okay. So there's those. Now I still have this to sew on. I don't know if I want it there. Or do I want it there? I don't know. But I think I need something over here. So I don't know what that will be. Wonder do I have like maybe a little doily or something? That might be good. Me not this first. Okay. Just put that little doily there to cover that corner. They do have the infrastructure to do it. I agree with that, Cindy. Yeah. Hard to know. And I might just come along the top here of this lace because that didn't get sewed down. And that will tack that down. No, do not catch. Ugh. go and then that lace that's here will sew there
And then we'll just come up here and sew this last little rose piece down here. So that worked out pretty good. Last little bit here for this. There we go. Now we'll do a knot. Okay, that's pretty good. So, what I think I want to do is maybe embroider on top of these hearts. Next. What time is it? I have a little bit of time. I don't think I'll get all three done, but I'll try and get one done. Um, what do you think about pink? Maybe a softer pink. Um, and this is DMC 776, if anybody's interested. Might as well use this little piece here. Oh, separating the threads, never fun. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay. So what I think I'd like to do on here, if you remember from the uh, from last week, we had done the lazy daisy stitch on here. And I'm thinking I want to do those again, but on the hearts. And I want to make a little, like, flower. So we're going to use that stitch, but make it look like a little daisy, an actual flower, like, with five of these stitches and then, like, a few French knots in the center of a different color. That's my plan. Really what, Deanna? Is that really to Cindy's comment? Oh, come on, Thread. Get in there. I'm threading. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I know what you feel about pink, Deanna. But I didn't want to use red or black. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, so what should I do first? Should I do a French knot first, maybe? Yeah, maybe I should. Just so I know where the center of the flower is going to be. So basically, with a French knot, I did show last week, but in case nobody knows, you come up through the bottom, take your thread, your needle, 
and wind it around the thread one, two, three, four, five times or more depending on the size of the French knot you want. And then you go back down in the hole, well, right beside where you came up with all that thread that's still on your needle. And then you pull it through and it makes this knot. So you have this kind of bumpy knot. They're great and they're easy to do and they look nice just on their own, like if you did a whole bunch of them. As for the lazy daisy or chain stitch, come up through the bottom, make a little loop like that. Go back down beside where you just came up. Pull your thread down. Don't pull the loop all the way. Keep the loop to about that size. And then as big as you want your stitch to be, like I would come up about there in between the loop. And then when you pull, it catches that loop. And then you go back down on the other side of the loop. And that gives you like a petal for the flower. Hopefully you can see that. So we're just going to repeat that all the way around. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. So you make a loop, go back down, and then come back up if you can. This might be too thick. Yeah, it's too thick. Go down. Leave some of the loop. And then come back up as big as you would like the loop stitch. Don't pull it too tight. Come on, fingers work. And then you go back down on the other side of the loop. And that will hold your loop down. Oops, I just pulled out the so now we've got two petals for that flower, as you can see. Well, I try and thread this again, which is always the worst part, in my opinion, is trying to thread the needle. And you just keep going around and around and around until you have a flower. that one I got through. And then back down. Might be able to do one more before I have to change the thread. Don't get caught. It'll be really pretty having these little flowers on here. 
Well, maybe the next one I'll do a different color for Deanna. <laughs> I could do it in purple, Deanna. Would that be okay? Like a light lavender color. Would that be okay? Oh, can I get another one? No, probably not. I don't know if I'll get another one or not. Let's try. We'll try. Can I do it? Oh, don't come out. That one was a little small, but oh well. It's hand stitching. It's not meant to be perfect. There we go. We got another one. So coming along, probably two more might do it. But we're going to have to tie a knot now. Okay, we're going to have to tie a knot without the needle. That's okay. Okay, good. All right, the next one we'll do is lavender then. That might be off camera though. <laughs> so I have orders this afternoon. Okay, where did the other thread go that I had? I just had it, seriously. Oh dear. Never fails. Well, we'll just take another piece off here. Another small piece. You'd think that embroidery, I say this every week though, that embroidery companies would sell these already split in three threads but they don't it's kind of annoying okay Thread the needle. Come on, thread. There we go. a bit bigger there well might not be able to come up through so we'll go down first hold your loop and then come back up sorry I can't see where I'm what I'm doing here And then 
back down again, and then one more. Nope, don't go through that one. Again, don't pull it too tight because uh, you'll make your loops like not look like loops if you pull it too tight. There we go. It looks really pretty. So there's our little daisy. Hopefully you can see that on there. And it looks so pretty mixed with the lace. I just love how that looks. So next week when I come on, um, we might do another background page. I'm not sure, but I'm enjoying doing the embroidery. So, and I do want to get this page done. So we'll see how we go next week. Um, this page will probably be done by next week. And I promise I will use purple on this one, Deanna. So I might do purple here and then another pink one. <laughs> probably change more if they did. So I hope you guys will give this a try um, and definitely check out Roseanne's channel as well. There's my thread I lost, of course. Um, I'm having fun with this. It's, it's really just a lot of fun and great for what, when you're watching television or just, you know, looking for something to do. I think the laces look nice with the embroidery. Anyway, I hope you guys will give it a try. Yes, I am glad you hung out with us today too, Cindy. So everybody check out everybody else's channel that's in the chat. Make sure you're subbed. And I will be back next Tuesday for another another page or something um there is going to be a week where we take a break from this and do something else um i can't believe it's been four weeks already that we've been doing this it's crazy and watch out for the postcard kit that'll be up in the next day or so and that's it thank you guys for coming thank you deanna for being the best mod ever and i will talk to you guys soon take care everybody